while I was standing there just now, I overheard this woman talk about how she's had a bit of bad fortune with regard to money during, you know, the COVID pandemic. Things have gone very wrong. She's maxed out a credit card, got into trouble, couldn't pay it, and it's gone to a debt collector, and she's scared. And it got me thinking, you know, these debt collectors have all of the power, or you know, over you. They it's they use psychological warfare with big letters and red writing and threats and various other things, and uh, and they get involved when the uh, credit card company, be it Barclays, Lloyd's, HSBC, or any number of them, you fall out of favour with them and you can no longer pay your debt. That debt is then sold to one of these debt collection companies and they hound you and hound you and hound you and hound you until you pay up and you even get people knocking on the door. Now, in my view, they're scum. They're bullies and they need knocking out of business. And um, what a lot of people in the general public don't realise is the law is on your side. You don't have to pay them anything. You, It's their job to prove to you that they can legally come after you for that money. I'll give you an example. You've got a credit card with, say, HSBC, with a credit limit of £2,000. You get furloughed or lose your job uh, because of, you know, lockdown. You use that money, that credit card to live on. You max out the £2,000. You can't afford to pay it. So what'd you do? You panic, you don't phone, you ignore the letters, you hope it will go away, stick your head in the sand, poke your bum in the air, all the usual stuff that people do. What that credit card company will do is sell that debt on to a, another agency and the cycle will then start again, threatening letters, threats of legal action and so on and so on and so forth. And, and the mistake a lot of people make is they again ignore it and hope it goes away and then costs go on. The threats get more and in more and more cases now you end up getting taken to court and then they win because you've done nothing. Here's what you should have done. You need to ask that company to prove that they're legally entitled to pursue you for that debt. And you do that across three letters. The first letter you send, you say to them, OK, I'll accept what you say on the condition you prove it. And you have to ask them for specific pieces of information. Now, one of the key items that you need to ask for is something called a deed of assignment. Now, this deed of assignment is the document that exists which shows that they have legally purchased your debt from the original company and taken it on. Without that, they can't prove that they can legally pursue you. Nine times out of ten, they can't show you it because what they do, they buy the debts in bulk and they use the excuse that they can't show you it because of data protection. It's actually more like you'll end up seeing what they really paid for it. So that's that's the first letter. I will accept what you say. Please show me. Blah, 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 blah. You wait two weeks and you will probably get a letter from them full of bullshit trying to fool you and get you to, you know, come up with the goods and start paying something. Don't worry about that. After two weeks, you send them another letter and you then say to them, I wrote to you two weeks ago and you've not provided me with what I've asked you. I'm very concerned about this. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to do this. You send that letter off. You then wait another two weeks and then what may happen then is you'll get another letter from them saying we've already given you everything we we're going to give you we're not going to give you the deed of assignment because it's a commercially sensitive piece of information you can't have it classified blah blah blah, blah. the fact is they either haven't got it won't give it 
but you won't you won't see it it's pure and simple after letter two and the two weeks have gone past you send them a third letter and you say i've given you opportunity number one opportunity number two to come up with the goods and you haven't so now your position is untenable there's nothing you can do you can't enforce anything i've given you the opportunity and you've proven by your non-response that you have no case to answer also with that letter you send them two other things you send them a letter saying that you no longer wish to be contacted it's called a cease and desist order a lot of them try and ignore it and you send them a gdpr notice ordering them to stop processing your personal data and delete everything so what you're telling them is you've proven that you can't prove it leave me alone and go away what they will usually do is one of a couple of things they will close your account and leave you alone they will write to you and say to you actually we can do what we're doing and we're going to carry on if i do that then what you do you write them another letter a fourth letter saying you're now harassing me pack it in or i'm going to report you to the authorities which will basically be the financial conduct authority and then what will happen then they'll either close your account or they'll push it a bit more at that point you go to the financial conduct authority and get them to sort it out very important though you don't go on the basis that they can't prove that the the debt isn't payable you go on the basis that they're harassing you and they need to go away and then it will all get resolved that's the basis of it don't get pushed around by them you need to say prove it it's as simple as that now it's taken me about seven minutes to go through that process with you if you want me to go into more detail if you want me to show you examples of template letters and various other strategies you can use please leave a comment below or give this video a like i'm just literally throwing this out there just to see if there's any interest in it because i i've been through all this before in the past you know me and my family with the pandemic we've been very lucky and i realize there's a lot of people that haven't been and i would like to try and help if i can by imparting some of what i've learned and what i know onto you and you know helping you with the situation there's things like council tax credit cards loans all sorts of things you can either get help with or even get written off if it's provable so anyway i'll stop rabbiting let me know in the comments below if you want more and i can give you more take care bye